Hey guys, I'm here with a really quick video. I promise, really, I know I always say that, this time I really am, to show you just a couple of fun toys that I picked up this week that are about to get listed on eBay. And that's why I gotta go quick because I gotta get these things listed. eBay has been so quiet this week, so I wanna get some new stuff. Um, I had a circus theme or an animal theme going, starting with this guy. Do you recognize him? He is um, a Disney. He's from Tarzan, the Disney animated Tarzan. And he talks. Let me turn it on. Hang on, I have to have them turned off. And it actually took me a while to figure out, usually with these things, you squeeze them or do something and they talk. I thought maybe he talked and you put the banana in his mouth, um, but he doesn't seem to. However, that's how he talks is when you bounce with him. Hey! He, <laughs> he does actually speak and say some this phrases. This is kind of fun, don't you think? There you go. Hey, come on! Watch it, kid. Too much wrestling could hurt your brain. <laughs> <laughs> that one too much wrestling can hurt your brain. He's really cute. He's such a beautiful purple color and he's in pretty good condition um, all around. When he's in his box, he does tend to sell for a little bit more. Sometimes hey. they get 40, 50 bucks for him. Um, I don't know. Sometimes he doesn't sell for very much at all. So it's a little bit of a, of a chance. Whoops. But he was so cute and I wasn't going to leave him behind. And um, so, yeah, I'm hoping hey, he's... Hey, kid, remember me? <laughs> I'm hoping he's a 40, 50 dollar... Um, plush toy because he's awful cute and because he has batteries he's a little heavy so he's gonna have to go priority so let me turn him off because he will continue to talk even though he prefers to speak when he bounces I have to look him up online and see what the purpose of the bouncing was there must be a reason and speaking of Disney let's stick with that I got this little bag of Moana um, PVC figures these are a little bit different um, Come down here a little bit. These are a little bit different in that they've got these bases, and these are from Jack Specific, who generally makes um, action figures. So I think these were part of some kind of a set. Uh, a lot of people sell them as cake toppers. They would be super cake toppers. The one uh, missing figure is the character that um, uh, Dwayne Johnson plays, whose name, sorry, I can't think of, which is a shame, but this character's unusual. I don't see him done a lot, and then obviously that's Moana, and then the princess here, and then her little friends. Again, I'm not really versed well in this movie. I did um, have a plush toy of this guy that I think I sold not too long ago. So, um, it's a popular, interestingly enough, this and Lilo and Stitch are both really popular for us. And I don't know if it's because we sell a lot of Hawaiian things being here in California. So these two Hawaiian properties, which I never really thought about before, um, they could do a crossover. Moana and Lilo and Stitch. Um, yeah, I grab them. I don't buy all Disney PVC figures because some of them are not worth buying. I thought these were kind of fun. They were, they charged me about a buck for them. I paid three um, on the Tarzan. Uh, that's Turk, by the way. I forgot to tell you his name is Turk. Um, I paid a dollar for these and they're not going to go for a lot. I, I, they might only go for 10. So once I ship them, you know, I'll make my money back in it. But again, sometimes I just buy things because they're kind of rescues and I like having them in my store. So wanna. And then what you see in the background was my big buy. Um, this is another one of these that is a little bit of a hit and miss. Let me um, get it back over here a little bit and show you what's going on with the babies. So this is a Fisher-Price train. It sort of still chews and it chugs. Um, it does have a little bit, the, the sticker's in really good shape, which is one of the things that usually messes up on these. It's a little grimy. I do have to take some, see if I can't clean some of this. Um, and then what's funny is the first day I was at this store, my favorite um, local thrift store, I saw the train, that's it. And I almost bought it because I thought the train alone, especially with the sticker being in really good condition, was going to be a great find. But I found some other things, so I left it. Then I came back days, days later, and I spotted some of these animals. And I thought, oh, these look like some kind of old vintage Fisher Price. And I couldn't see the tag on them because I was looking on their belly where there's nothing. And it turns out it's on their leg. The, the copyright information was here, but I didn't see it. Then I spotted the other two train cars and I thought, oh my gosh, look at that. The almost, well, at the time I thought it was the whole train. And I kept digging and found all these animals. 
but I didn't see this. So this was all together in a bin and I was going to buy it anyway because I looked it up and the animals alone are worth the money. We're going to talk about that in a second. But I kept digging and way down the toy row I found this now the, in a different place, not where it was when I first saw it. So the moral of this story is when things come in pieces, look around because especially the typical thrift stores where kids tend to play in the toys, they get separated even if they were ever together because these were not together originally. Like I said, this definitely was on the shelf before the other pieces. So once I saw the other pieces, I thought it was really nice. It's this super old chunky construction that Fisher Price used to do. They have a modern version of this, which just, it's a little rounder. The older Fisher Price has this style in the art and everything that just kind of stands out to me again, because it's more like, you know, my era of what I grew up with, what my brother who's younger than me grew up with. Um, and I adore the animals. Now, um, so there's a giraffe. He's in, not in great condition. He's got some issues and his legs aren't incredibly tight, but not too bad. And then, whoops, see what I mean? He just like, so he's gonna fall over, so put him down. Um, and then there's two monkeys. Now, I think this only came with one of each animal. So whoever had this got extra animals somewhere. Here's the other monkey. And then two beautiful blue elephants and not the texturing on the legs. Again, there's some cleanup issues. Some of this I'll be able to clean up. Some of it is just age and there's not gonna be anything to do about it. Two lions, these are in real good condition. It's a face on that is so sweet. Look at that face. And one bear. So um, maybe it did come with two monkeys and two elephants and two lions originally and then just one of each of these other. But it seems, for all the, all the ones I've seen online, seems to be one of each animal. And, and almost nobody has all the animals. There's also a series, there's another car. There's a flat car that's missing, um, which some people seem to make it seem like it wasn't always released with the extra car. I have a feeling it was, that it was probably a four car set originally with all these animals, which is really nice. What a nice toy this was at the time. And it makes that chugging sound. They all hook together. You could run it across the floor. Oh, we're also missing the people. So it used to come with a circus clown and a train conductor and the, the circus, um, ringmaster very cute the old school old um wooden peg people that fisher price used to have i would love to have found those they're actually apparently really hard to find they seem to be the most valuable part of this set now here's the thing if you have the whole set complete in good condition it's probably a hundred dollar toy but not only am i missing a train and the people check this out when i bought it as I was checking out, I realized this was broken. But it wasn't until I got home that I realized there's supposed to be a door here when I started comparing it, which makes sense. It's an animal cage. So it used to have a flip down door so the animals could walk up and get in. Doot, doot, doot. In they go. Um, and it's also kind of grimy, grimy on the inside. I have to work on that. So the question is, for the weight of this, is it worth even adding this? Am I better off just selling the two parts of the train and just get rid of this. It's even got like something broken in there. Am I better off just selling this part with the animals and leaving this out? Or does this add any value? It is a, I think it's from the 70s. So, you know, it's an old toy, but it's not that rare. So it's not, if you couldn't find this online, I'd say sell it broken because broken's better than not having it but you can find it and you can find it in good working order. Um, so I don't know, like if I tried to sell this on its own, I, that would be silly. It's just, do I wanna add the extra weight? Cause that could be another couple of dollars in shipping to add this on, it's quite, it's quite hefty. Um, so that's my dilemma. My other dilemma is I don't think I'm gonna sell it with all the animals together. I think I'm gonna pull one of each of the duplicates and we'll have this, this, I might even pull the bear. Does the bear not seem like he doesn't go? I mean, I guess there's bears. Could have been bears in the circus. I don't know. But I'm thinking like that. Um, because the animals alone sell for five to $15. Once again, because people lose them and they break them. Um, or you just want more animals because you want a bigger circus. Um, so that's what, that's my thought pattern on these that I don't, by adding them, Okay, follow me on this. By adding all of these animals to this, 
if these are potentially worth even say three dollars each three four five six seven nine ten so this is another ten to twelve dollars does adding them to this make make this whole set more than ten dollars more than i would have gotten for it i don't think so i think this separately for people who just need some animals and this is a really nice grouping so you got a little bit of everything and it, again if the set was complete if i had the other car and this wasn't broken and I knew that all these animals went together, I would not break the set up. If I had a complete set, I would say it's a complete set. But since I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around. So that's the question, the big question, and you tell me what you think in the comments. Is it worth including this into the thing with it being broken like this is, and this is really broken, like this is snapped off to the point where it's actually quite sharp and not safe. Um, this this not so much i if it was just this i would have been okay i would i would let it let it go but with this door missing is it worth my selling this with everything and having to increase the price by at least five dollars to cover the extra shipping and fees or get rid of that just toss it sell that set for probably maybe 20 25 plus shipping somewhere in that range and these alone could be another 14 to 15 possibly if I parcel them out they could be $20 so I'm thinking what I've got here is 50 I paid three I can't believe they only charged me three at the store but um, they do that sometimes when I go through the trouble to find all the bits I think they take pity on me and go yeah that's fine so that's it that's what I got right now not a lot this time around I also bought a jacket that um, just because it looked cool but this is all my toys. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you remember having a Fisher Price train when you were a little kid or you too young to remember that. But um, I really, really do want to know your opinion on breaking up lots like this, whether you think it's worth it and whether it's worth selling broken pieces. So I've repeated myself enough this time. I'm going to go. See you guys later and wishing you pop culture profits. <laughs>